I looked over and I saw Terry Crews crying. I was like, oh my gosh, this show's really something special. And then I realized, oh my, I'm crying. Yeah. What just happened? <laughs> I thought there was a car show. It's not, it's a people show that features cars and Hot Wheels is that really connecting vessel that makes all of it happen. Rutledge, thank you so much for hanging out with me here on the Today Show Plaza talking about Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. Whoa! Buckle up for the ride of your life! Transforming nostalgic cars from their past. I feel like a little kid. Into the life-size Hot Wheels of their dreams! where one lucky super fan will get their design made into an actual Hot Wheels die cast that you can buy! Get ready, get set, go! This is Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. David, this is so exciting. I mean, first off, here you are in your Hot Wheels shirt, looking so sharp. I got my Hot Wheels jacket. We're standing in front of the Bone Shaker, an actual life-size Hot Wheels. I mean, we're at the Today Show. How much cooler could it get? This is so cool. And I was gonna ask you to tell me more about this car behind us, if you could. This thing's awesome. So the Bone Shaker is this sort of rat rod inspired car that is a pickup truck and you can see it's it's down on the ground and to me this is what a Hot Wheels really represents right like it's funky it's loud it's crazy I mean to see the face on the front of this thing the way the hands are holding the headlights yeah I mean this thing is insane I wish this was mine I drive it all the time <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to ask you to tell me because in the show you say we're gonna turn these cars into a Hot Wheels and what does that mean? When I think about Hot Wheels, it's the feeling that I get. So to me, they're usually loud, they're low, they're wide, they've got crazy paint, uh, insane exhaust. Like it, it's all these cues, it's taking something and making it bigger and better. And really that's what our show Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge is all about. It's taking that same feeling that when you're holding that die cast in your hand and you think, man, if I have a car like this, I could go anywhere, I could do anything, I could be anyone I wanna be. We do that same thing, but on a life-size version. So yeah. one to one scale instead of 164. Got it. So in Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, a lot of these contestants or super fans that come on have a lot of very emotional attachments to their cars. My very first car was a 1989 Ford Thunderbird, Ooh. a boat, like not a cool Thunderbird. It was a Thunderbird that no one who's 16 should be driving. What was your first car? Hold on, let's just give some respect okay. to the Thunder Chicken. First off, that means it, did it have velour interior? No, it just had your basic like uh, like fabric that got burnt by a cigarette okay, and it was okay. there for you know years and years. Yeah, and they always, that car always smelled the exact same. Yes. <laughs> like when the sun would hit it, it, heat, it heated up and had this very distinct smell. Yes. I had a Thunderbird once, same exact thing. Uh, my first car was a 1981 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup. Wow. Diesel four speed. So it looked like the front of a four door Rabbit was cut off and someone just welded on a miniature truck bed. Now keep in mind, it's front wheel drive, so it can't really do all the same stuff that a normal pickup could. Yeah. It had no radio, no air conditioning. My grandpa was so cheap, he didn't even get the like $10 vent windows. Oh my God. So it was the hottest thing I've ever driven in my life, but I love that thing. Yeah. And you know, probably just like you and the Thunderbird, I really felt like this is my ride. I, I have arrived. I can go anywhere and do anything. One interesting thing I, I had while watching this show was that I remember when MTV's Pimp My Ride came out, a few, several years ago, contestants came out and said, these cars don't run at all. They sure. put so much crap in it, they don't run. Do these Hot Wheels, when they're built fully, they actually run? I think every single thing that we did ran. The notion of Pimp My Ride is good for people to think about because that was trying to take something and, and fix it up. Ours definitely has a bigger emotional connection to what kind of makes all of us click. And then having them transform them in front of our eyes. And keep in mind, different from Pimp My Ride, they would just spend you know, half an hour on one car. Our show, you know, Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge has done something that no one's ever done before. These are two garages that are 30 feet apart from each other. Mm -hmm. And the team that is building them, we call them the carpoolers, right? These are fabricators, uh, welders, artists. They're just incredible. And these people walked away from their normal life to come over and help these super fans 
dreams become reality. I want to transform my car into a Hot Wheel dream. I've waited almost 40 years to be able to skateboard on my dad's caddy, and I'm finally going to make that a reality. And what is it about Hot Wheels that you think makes them so nostalgic? Why do they they persist over so much time that they're still so collectible today. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's the most attainable toy in the world, second to like the rubber bounce ball for a quarter. Yeah. Right, because they, they don't know economic boundaries, they don't know skin color or where you're from, they just know that you hold this thing and it is like a dream machine. It is aspirational. Whoever is holding this toy, this 164th scale, gets to think about where can I go? What can I do if I had this car? Yeah. So I think that's what's made them such a mainstay forever. I mean, Mattel really has done something special with it, clearly. So I get the sense very much so that you're kind of a big kid like I am. Um, and when I grew up and started making some money, I went and bought all the toys that I couldn't have when I was a kid. And one of the first ones I got was the Power Rangers Dragon Zord Zord because I never got it as a kid. Is there something you did similarly when you got money. I just want you to know that that level, I appreciate, I think we have a fellow I knew nerdiness. It. <laughs> yeah. That level of sincere nerddom is so sweet. I think that's amazing. So mine was like, I've always had this list of what some people would label as like kind of crappy cars that I always, so okay. I just had been clicking off the list of like $1,500 Craigslist rides. But when I think I finally said like, okay, this is the one. Uh, for me, it was my 1993 Toyota Supra. Okay. It's a twin turbo target top, kind of like uh, the, the car that was on the first Fast and Furious. Yeah. And I fixed it up with my friend. So to me, that was that same thing, but I wish that I had something as cool and as as niche as the Power Ra What's the exact, the Power Rangers? Dragon Zord. Dragon Zord. Yeah. What I really loved about Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge was the way you get some fun facts about cars and Hot Wheels on the screen. like. Arrow and wheelie bar and all these things that I had no idea even existed. Was there something you learned on the show that you didn't know before? All right, I am a real nerd and okay. I didn't like, I've been labeled a car expert and I didn't love that title at first because I felt like I didn't like get a certification yeah. because I really like car nerd would feel better. Yeah. But turns out I have a huge amount of facts about random cars in my head okay. that I shouldn't. It was really because I would go to the, to the grocery store with my mom every time she would go and I would just read every magazine that was car related, trucks, offer, whatever it was, I would yeah. read it. So like I have a, Huge knowledge about low riders. I've never owned one, but I understand like the lace paint job on the roof. Like there's so many things I've learned about, but Hot Wheels specifically, the culture of Hot Wheels is unbelievable. The super fans truly of, of the brand uh, are legit. And they're some of the most fun people I've ever met. You just unlocked another like core memory of reading magazines in grocery stores when you went with your mom. Yes. <laughs> I used to read wrestling magazines and I used to be just, you oh, go, yeah. you go get your milk and stuff. I'm going to be right here reading magazines. Kids these days don't know anything about that. And I think that's what this show does so well. It takes you down memory lane for these super fans and the little things that they see, you know, we try so hard when the show starts, as you saw, we give them a card that looks just like one they remember. Yeah. What I've realized is that, like Lego, when Lego is singular, I realized watching the show that Hot Wheels is always plural. Always correct? plural. Never, it's never a Hot Wheel car. Correct. It's always a Hot Wheels. If you have one or 70, they're Hot Wheels. That's crazy. Because truly, if you look at them, I mean, they're Hot There's Wheels. There's four wheels. Yeah. I get it. They're hot. It's <laughs> Hot Wheels. Absolutely. And now, you know, some of them look like planes. Some of them are skateboards, like there's everything, but they all fall under the category of Hot Wheels. Is there one Hot Wheels car that is particularly special to you? Ooh, I had so many. I remember having like a mid eighties Mercedes 560 SEC AMG, mm -hmm. which still today is like an insane car, but that was one I remember having and, it, and I did great until I turned it gold with my mom's paint pen. It's like 24 karat paint pen gold, yeah. which had all these like streaks. I still loved it. <laughs> I made the windows like mirror tent with the silver pen that I could find. Yeah, that, was, that one's a special one to me. Incredible. And in terms of Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, if you are going to, you're sitting down watching with fans at home and you can point out little things they might not notice about this show that you'd know as the host, what would you point out to them? Wow, that's a great one. I mean, it's a ton of stuff 
turns out to, to cram into an hour, yeah. right? Because these teams had a week to transform these cars mm -hmm. and they were working every single minute they could on them. So there's way more to them than I think people will see. And a lot of the teams would hide little Easter eggs. Like they would, a lot of teams would sign stuff fenders, doors, whatever, before it would go to paint. Oh. So they always knew, like, we were a part of this. And so there's all these kind of moments like that that I think really do make this show special. And as you know, it turns out it's really difficult to make a show that families can sit down and watch together. Yeah. And the fact that that was really important to NBC to make something to where my parents, me, my kids, we could all sit and watch and enjoy. And you learn stuff not only about the cars and the people, but really what makes all of us so similar. Because, you know, Kurt and Dalal, who are our judges, you know, they come from totally different places. Dalal has this amazing uh, design background. Kurt and I have been friends for like 15 years. He is this insane drifter that likes everything loud and low and sideways. And then he, he breaks them typically. So, you know, we all come from these different places. Then we had all these amazing celebrity guests, right? We had Joel McHale, Jay Leno, Anthony Anderson, Terry Crews. I mean, you, you, Sung Kang from Fast and Furious was there. He's one of my favorite people I've ever met in my life. And I'll tell you this, when I looked over and I saw Terry Crews crying, I was like, oh my gosh, this show's really something special. And then I realized the guy whose car it is, that person is crying. And then I realized, oh my, I'm crying. Yeah. What just happened? I thought there was a car show. It's not, it's a people show that features cars and Hot Wheels is that really connecting vessel that makes all of it happen. Yeah, I cried too watching that episode because I'm a big softy. Absolutely, yeah. I love that about you. <laughs> Thank you, Hot Wheels. Seeing that car again, I feel like I'm 18 years old, man. I'm humbled to sit in this car. It feels great, man. Rutledge, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This was a really cool experience. Hey, thank you so much for having me. You know, if you want to see more after the show, check out online through Xfinity. We've got Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, Best Builds, gets you behind the scenes. You're going to love it. Thanks for having me. What a treat. Thank you.